Oh, that's the worst. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Any chance you could not sit right exactly behind me? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, that's too close? I would slap oh, that guy. That. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm supposed to eat at a library? Oh, God. I don't like that guy. I want to do this. Oh, God. I'm getting annoyed just sitting here. I'm not even there. <laughs> that girl in the background. <laughs> God, Karen. <laughs> Who eats a carrot? I can't study without a good snack. <laughs> Is it a head of lettuce in his hand? Oh, come on. Hmm? Are you gonna sit here? Yeah. Hey, I'm okay. I would slap that guy so hard. Oh, I've seen this. It's awesome. Good afternoon. Uh, I'm Dr. Steiner, and I'll be your professor for chemistry 131. This class is extremely hard. Last year, 55% of this class failed. I would freak out. Are any of you interested in going to med school by show of hands? At all. If you want to just, I, I do these little demonstrations. Uh, if you could just stand up. Can everyone in the left hand section and the middle section to sit down? Oh my god. Take a look at the proportion of who's still standing. That's the proportion of people that are actually naked to medical school. That's crazy. Laptops that was terrifying to me because I want to go to med school. Like in class. <laughs> this is so mean. He's already stressing these kids out on their first days. Uh, so if you have a laptop, please put it away. This is uh, evil. I would run out, out of that class so fast. What? Oh. Oh. Oh, shoot. Is he not the teacher? He's not the teacher. That was awesome. That was, that is a good prank. I love that. He's like, who the hell are you? Oh, this is the yeah. patience test guy. I saw the first one. Hey, let's go on a safari. <laughs> <laughs> if my roommate did this, I would kill her. Today, you look like a star. <laughs> wow, he has great focus. <laughs> Oh, see, he smile. <laughs> so I can't even explain how good your hair looks right now. <laughs> how does he not hate him? It was a good sport and he passed. Seriously, you should get a plaque for this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> They're like really good friends. Like really good friends. <laughs> oh, those were good. So let's put yourself in these scenarios. If you're in the library and someone started eating really loud next to you, what do you think you would do? I would start cracking up. I would start laughing because it was so funny. I'd probably take their food and throw it. I'm nice, so I probably wouldn't say anything. I'd pretend like I could be like confrontational and be like, listen. But really, I would probably like get up and like storm off. And the professor prank, how would you have felt when you realized you were just listening to some guy and not the professor? It would frustrate me. I would have thought it was hilarious, like genius. I would be confused, but also relieved. I wouldn't even believe the next guy being a, the professor. I'd be like, who else is who else is coming? And finally, if you had a roommate that was testing your patience like that, what do you think you would do to him? I don't, I don't know. I would park their car in a no parking zone and get it towed. But I would just be like, you know what? This isn't gonna work anymore, and I'm going to the library, and I will sit through those people chewing loudly. So all of these revolved around college settings. Do you plan to go to college? Community then transfer. Yes, I want to go to college really bad. Yes, and I would like to study medicine, or pre-med. Are you currently in college? Yeah, I'm in college. Yes. I'm in my first year. I just finished my second year. I am currently a communication studies major. I'm pre-med biochem major with a minor in political science. And what are you going through in terms of getting prepared to go to college? Well, I gotta take my SAT, and then I gotta study for that too. Yeah, I should start my papers. <laughs> Basically in a bunch of essays saying, hey, this is why you should let me in. Oh, so much.
what? Especially too, if you're like, if it, you're the first in your family to go into college, you have no idea what's going on. So you're just kind of listening, keeping an ear out to what you're supposed to be even doing. What was the experience like for you when you were in high school and it was time to apply to college? Okay, for me, that was like the most stressful thing. The college application process was not a fun time. You have to write an essay. 18 years of your life comes down to 600 words. It's a very critical decision-making time of your life and it's weird because it's like you're so young and you have this big life choice to make. Thankfully I had I had a really good counselor. The best thing is to start as um, early as possible. And how important is a college education to you? Uh, I mean, very important considering the fact that I want to go to law school. In terms of medicine, it's pretty much everything. <laughs> um, I don't really have any other choice. It's good for job opportunities, but it's also good, I think, just for like personal growth. I just feel like I'm supposed to because everybody else does it and that's the only way to get a decent job, or at least that's the way it seems. My parents don't have college degrees, and like they're fine on their jobs, but now you absolutely need a college degree to get a good job. You just have to be passionate about what you're gonna do. And if college is in that equation to make, to make it easier for you to reach your goal, then I think you should go to college. And what's your impression of the cost of college? I think it's way too expensive. I know a lot of people who are actually thinking of dropping out because it's so hard for them to actually pay for college and that's just, that's wrong. My aunts, like they're still in like college debt. My parents are like, no, like we got this, like we'll figure it out. But I'm like, no, I don't want you spending all this money on me. And what about things like financial aid or student loans? Do you have any information about how that works? Not. Really? I don't even know if we qualify for it. I've tried, but I'm not going to get financial aid, but I have looked into student loans. I took out student loans. I did get financial aid. First, you got to fill out the FAFSA. I don't know what it stands for, but I know it's like you get money from it. <laughs> if you need to take a loan, you should, obviously, because education is invaluable. Even if you're not kind of rough on money, it's still a good idea to uh, to go check it out. There's like so many loopholes that they don't teach you about, so I feel like a lot of that money that people could be using to help further their education who are interested in doing that, like falls through the cracks. So back to these videos, they all have to do with pranking in colleges. Why is that such a perfect setting for pranks? Well, because you don't have any parents anymore. You have complete freedom. People are also really vulnerable because people. Are, there's also those people that are trying to study and do work. I think social media definitely has something to do with it. People really do things for the views. It's like a bunch of young people and we're all like crazy and stupid and like want to have fun and everything is so stressful. You have to have like something to buffer, you know what I mean? And finally, of these three videos, which one was your favorite? Definitely the just eating in the library. Where he was chewing super loud. I really like the patience test. The professor one. Oh, the teacher one. I love the professor one, because that's the one I want to see happen at my school next semester. Maybe I'll do it. Watch me, well, I, I don't think anyone would ever believe that I was a professor. <laughs> but, maybe one day. That's the end of another episode of Teens React. Make sure to subscribe. We have new videos every week. Bye, guys.